it's something that you take for granted, your hearing or your sight. I can't imagine. Because, you know, that's what I love the most, is the music, that's what I do. Losing my sight would be horrendous, but I, you know, I can imagine things, but not being able to hear, I think is the hardest thing. It's an isolationist thing. You've been in the dark. If people would just stop and close their eyes and understand the importance of hearing, listening to another person or the music that you're listening to, that's how important hearing is. It gives you the meaning and the understanding of life. That's why we do what we do out in real life is because there are sounds, you're constantly monitoring your environment and the sounds all around you. These are the sounds of life and we try to give that back to people. This is one of the most remarkable foundations I've ever seen because you get an instant result. Bup, 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 bup. It's very moving. They're 150% committed. I think the Star K Foundation for coming here and giving hearing aid for the children, it's helped a lot and it's, it's a big honor to us. It's very important to help people, and I'm happy. We have the opportunity to do a lot of good things in the community, but this is a whole different world. I mean, you're enhancing one of basic senses in life. Ba, 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 ba. Hey, yeah, there you go. Is it good now? It's cool to see little faces experience that for the first time. Has she heard before? No. Was she born this way? Yes, she did. Since birth. Since birth. Oh, very good. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Yeah. Yeah. That's you. It's pretty. Yeah, it's so pretty. Yeah. She's yeah. Oh, she's looking for a medal. Thank you very much. Can I have a hug? <gasps> oh, thank you. <laughs> it's always good to catch hearing when they're young. The earlier you can fit someone with hearing aids, the better life they'll have in the long run because they'll be able to learn and then be able to go to school and talk with their loved ones. Now, see, he's looking that way. So his mother died at birth. Yeah. And so he's blind and no hearing. What a beautiful little boy you are. Mm -hmm. God, I love you. Can you hear that? <laughs> Dalton wanted the patients to hear the music, and he especially wanted a seven-month-old boy to hear that was an orphan. We got hearing aids on him so he could hear the music. He really seemed to like hearing the sounds of the piano. He's been taken out of a tunnel, no sight, no hearing, and suddenly he's at least been given the ability to hear. For these people out there who've just been fitted there, it's just, it's quite extraordinary, and it's an incredibly uplifting experience. Too big? Is, there, is it just right? Do you like it? Do you like it there? Whenever you see someone being cared for and not forgotten about, their human spirit comes alive and they're so grateful. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is an amazing, amazing family. They give so much of their time and what they do here is miraculous to make people here again. People like Bill Austin should get the Medal of Freedom in, in America. He's, he's an extraordinary man. Elton offered tickets to the participants so they could come tonight and hear hear the music and hear him play the piano in the Colosseum. You see the determination and the courage on these people's faces and it just fills you up. It's just like, wow. If you can't hear the music, you're not part of life. <laughs>